Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi. Welcome to the family and don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, I have been getting so many requests on this um, look ever since I had it on Instagram. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelids off camera. And we're going to be going in with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia on a Morphe E27 brush. For the first color, we're going to be going in with this one right here. It is called Burnt Orange on a Morphe E27 brush. Tap off the axis. And you're just going to blend this as the transition color on the entire lid. So once that is all blended out, the next color we're going to use is this one right here, which is Red Ochre on a Morphe M433 brush and we're going to focus this one right under the one you just put in the crease. Then going back in with the Morphe uh, E27, you're going to blend both of those colors out and just make sure everything is extremely blended. Alright guys, so for the next shade I'm going to be taking this one right here. I do not know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. Um, on a Morphe M433 brush, and then this one is going to go right on the crease. Alright guys, so next I'm going to be taking some concealer on the back of my hand and a very, very flat, rounded brush. And I'm going to be using this little brush to cut my crease. Alright guys, so for the first color in the cut crease, we're going to be going in with Primavera, which is this color right here. And we're going to be packing that on the inner corner. So for the last half of my lid, I'm going to be going in with the Antique Bronze, which is this color right here. And with the same little brush, I'm going to be packing that on the outer third of my lid. So for the last step for the eyes, I'm going to be taking the um, M433 brush by Morphe. And going back in with that really dark brown shade that I couldn't pronounce earlier. Um, and we're just going to put that right on the edges. So for my liquid liner today, I'm going to be using the NYX 
uh, liquid black liner. It looks like this. As you can see, it looks a little crazy right now because it's all super long and not pointy and all kinds of crazy. So what I do to have that perfect uh, crisp wing is I grab a makeup remover wipe. I just use my Neutrogena wipes and clean it, clean it up on the sides. So. As you can see, that was my little trick for my eyeliners and it really does make the difference on how sharp it looks. So I'm just gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. So for foundation, I'm gonna be mixing two foundations. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me, Con I mean, not concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige. It's the matte and poreless. And then I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Shell Ivory. I'm going to be adding a little bit of the liquid highlighter by Benefit, it's called High Beam, and adding that to the tops of my cheekbones before I set the rest of my face. Now that that's there, I'm going to be setting the rest of my face. So to bronze my face up, I'm going to be using the Hoola Bronzer and the Real Techniques uh, blush, blush Brush to bronze up my face. So while I wait for this to sit a little bit, I'm gonna do my blush and my highlight. So for blush today, I'm gonna be using this Flower Pots. I don't really know what brand it is. Oh, I'm gonna be using this Flower Beauty Flower Pot in the shade Sweet Pea and a stipple brush by Revlon, it's the blending brush. Alright guys, so for highlight, I have sadly 
some really really sad news so in the picture that I have as my thumbnail I am using the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight but I broke it it is like shattered into a thousand little pieces but yeah I'm trying to find a good video to fix that highlighter because you know how like if you squish it and if you put some weird stuff and like let it dry apparently it works but I don't know what I have to put in it so if you guys know please leave it in the comments down below because that's my baby but it is broken so I'm gonna use the Anastasia glow kit today in the kit that glow and I'm gonna be using the sun kissed and bubbly mixed together So I get a lot of questions asking why I make this face and the reason I make that face is because it makes my cheekbones go up and I know exactly where to put the highlights over. For the lipstick I'm using today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade uh, Vampira, Vampera, whatever you want to call it. Guys, I am out of it today. I almost forgot my bottom waterline. All right, so for my bottom waterline, I'm gonna be going in with that Anastasia again. And I'm the first shade I'm gonna be taking is the burnt orange, which is is this one right here, the burnt orange. Guys, I almost forgot my bottom waterline. I can't believe that. And I'm really gonna smoke this out. And then the next color is the red orchid that we used at the top. And then finally, with the little tiny brush, I'm gonna be using um, that one I can never pronounce, the brown one. And I'm gonna use this as close as I can to the waterline. All right guys, so the absolute final step is going to be the to set your whole makeup. And I use the Mario Badescu Rose Water to set my entire face, so. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. For a list of all the products I used, as usual, it's going to be in the description box below, along with my social medias, but if you want to have them right here, they'll be somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks guys. See you next week.